It was a shock. You know, I was already in my mind picking out wigs and thinking how much longer I'd have here. I was terrified. Jane Brandhagen was facing the news one in eight women will hear. She had breast cancer. Her yearly mammogram had revealed a small tumor. She wanted to treat it very aggressively and wanted to wrap up her treatments as quickly as possible. I could have gone with a full-out double mastectomy and then I would be done. Mayo Clinic surgeon Dr. Tina Hyken says it's the main decision breast cancer patients have to make to remove the entire breast in a mastectomy or have breast preserving surgery. Because Jane's cancer was caught early, Dr. Hyken says she was a good candidate for a new option, which would also reduce her entire treatment to just a matter of days. So for those patients who have no evidence of disease in the lymph node and have uh, small tumors that are completely removed with a lumpectomy, they leave the operating room with a catheter in place. It's an outpatient procedure. So this is a breast model with the brachytherapy catheter device inserted into the lumpectomy cavity. Called brachytherapy, the catheter delivers the necessary follow-up radiation treatments internally in a fraction of the time of standard external radiation therapy. Treatments are delivered over five weekdays, twice a day, approximately six hours apart, uh, for a total of 10 treatments. Brachytherapy itself is not new, but patients routinely have to wait two to four weeks for a second surgery to implant the catheter because that can't happen until a pathology report comes back saying it's okay to proceed. So Dr. Park and Dr. Hyken designed a treatment regimen to eliminate the waiting time by using a single surgery. First, special dyes are injected to identify any cancer cells that may have spread beyond the tumor site or to the lymph nodes under the arm. That allows a pathologist to immediately screen the lymph nodes and a safe margin of tissue removed from around the tumor while the patient is still under anesthesia. Once the all clear is given, the surgery continues with a second incision to insert the brachytherapy catheter and expand it, filling the lumpectomy cavity. The very next day, the patient's radiation plan is mapped out during a simulation. The following morning, the brachytherapy begins using a computer-controlled robotic machine, which manipulates a single radioactive seed smaller than a grain of rice within the implanted catheter. The radioactive seed will travel through the cable into the patient, into the catheter, and stop at different locations that we program it to for a different amount of time, and that shapes the radiation dose. Unlike externally delivered radiation, Dr. Park says brachytherapy is delivered more precisely to the target area without passing through healthy tissue. Meaning the breast uh, tissue, uh, the chest wall, lung tissue, uh, for left side of cancer patients, importantly the heart tissue. It's hoped the expedited brachytherapy option encourages more women to receive the full benefit of their recommended post-surgery radiation particularly those living far from a treatment center. So with standard therapy, they're driving a couple hundred miles round trip each day for three, four, six weeks. The actual rate of completing the radiation may be as low as 60 or 70 percent. Jane says she leaped at the chance to be part of a pilot study that completed her brachytherapy in just three sessions. So from Monday to Friday, five days, that was surgery and radiation all in five days, which I think is amazing. Jane and other patients in the study will continue to be followed for five years to verify that their long-term health and survival is just as good as those receiving standard radiation procedures. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Dennis Doda.